Hello, welcome back to another Harry the Snack Guy snack review blind taste test video. This week, where is it? We've got Pringles. Pringles. Not only are they Pringles, but they're Philly cheesesteak Pringles. And that pains me to say Philly cheesesteak. I obviously born, well, not obviously, but born and raised in the Philadelphia suburbs. Anytime I see a cheesesteak product advertised specifically as Philly cheesesteak, that's a red flag to me. Why? Because when you're in Philly, you don't say Philly cheesesteak. You just say cheesesteak. And to me, a lot of times when brands advertise things as Philly cheesesteak, they usually get it wrong. Usually you'll see something like a Hot Pocket and it says Philly cheesesteak on it. And then it has like peppers and other crap on it that you don't want. Now, fortunately for us, uh, it seems like the Pringles brand knows what they're doing because it's it's the it's the roll. It's the meat. It's the cheese. Let me confirm. No peppers. And then they have what looks like onions. Onions are fine on cheesesteaks. I think people or brands, well, brands are people, right? I think brands get confused because sausage and peppers is a thing, but not cheesesteaks. I mean, obviously, if you're out there and you have peppers on your cheesesteak and whatever, I mean, I'm just getting too, too, uh, too elitist about cheesesteaks. Also, only at Walmart. I did not buy this at Walmart. Just saying. I got this at an independent third-party uh, convenience store that used to be a Wawa. And now it's like uh, uh, there's probably only one of them in the entire country. <laughs> so, all that being said, let's crack open this can of Pringles. Let's, um, once you pop, you can't stop. That's the thing. Smell test. It's got this like funky odor to it. I'm not even going to try to say that that smells like a cheesesteak. It's just this like kind of funky odor. I wonder if these are expired. Should have checked. I don't think Pringles can expire out of this. Best before February 11th, 2024. So we're good. All right. So it's a, ew. <laughs> so it's a Pringle. We all know what Pringles look like. Uh, Pringles notoriously do not have flavor dust on them. Uh, very few, very few Pringles I can think of flavor wise have a lot of flavor dust or, or alter the color of the Pringle itself. You know, I don't even think like the cheese ones are orange. They might be, but you know, in my head, I just think of Pringles as almost always being the standard Pringle color and then a light coating of whatever flavor dust. All right. Uh, doo, 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 doo. here we go. Now, that's interesting. That's got a lot of onion on it. Like a cheesesteak. And I feel like a lot of times when these um when these uh when these brands do the the chip flavor and it's supposed to be like meat, they they're heavy on like the um salty smokiness and like a fake smoke flavor. There's no fake smoke here. It's it's interesting. A couple theories about chips and snacking. Uh one of them was um you you can't get a good sense of the flavor unless you, you you take a bite of a couple at a time. It's like there's three distinct stages to eating this chip. First first bite, first like first moment it hits your tongue, you get the cheese flavor. Yes, my tummy's gonna hurt later because there's there is milk in this. So you get the cheese flavor. And then the middle is like the spice blend that's supposed to replicate the meat, and then it finishes on the onion. I feel like these Pringles are a little bit sturdier than normal Pringles. They are. The, each individual Pringle is a little bit thicker than a normal Pringle. In my head, Pringles tend to like break apart like really easily. These have a little bit of a sturdiness to them. It's so interesting how it goes from like... I guess cheese is like a salty, savory flavor, right? But then it ends on sweet, savory. Because of the onion. These right now, I'm thinking like my overall thoughts. These are more interesting than they are good. If that makes sense. Like I'm intrigued by them. But I don't know if I'm ready to be like, yeah, these are really good. I'll get them again. Or like, these are really good. I, I recommend them. Gotta, gotta do more research. I'm deciding between 7 out of 10 and 8 out of 10. And here's why. 
it's seven out of ten because like ultimately like i don't necessarily i think they're they're fine to eat i just don't think they're like truly great but eight out of ten because man that's intriguing the way they pack so much flavor into this and you really do get those three distinct phases of the flavor like i said it's like cheese meat onions which is almost i would be really impressed if it was more like meat cheese onions in terms of like hit your tongue you get meat and then you get cheese then you get onions because that's more of the order of a, of a cheesesteak i'm gonna do one more and then i'll give my final final uh final rating i'm gonna give this a seven out of ten and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you why most of us when you go to sit down and eat chips you're, you're not just daintily eating one or two like you're you're crushing like a half a bag or whatever or in the case of Pringles, half a can. The more I eat of these, the stronger the onion lingers on my palate. And it's a little bit overpowering. It's like uh, after you finish eating a bunch of onion rings, like that sort of like linger. Not as strong. I mean, it's not like you're eating real onion, onion rings. But like, you know, how onion just lingers on your palate a little bit. And again, I like onions, but it's, you know, that's a little bit of a downside. All things considered. So 7 out of 10. I got, I was, apparently you're only supposed to get them at Walmart, but I got them at an independent convenience store. Hey, oh, uh, future Harrison here. Quick update. Uh, past Harrison's a liar. These are five out of 10 chips. A few days after recording this video, I had my cousin Laura try them and the smell wafted over to me and made me like instantly nauseated. Uh, it was that powerful. So I don't really know what happened in between those few days between reviewing the chips and liking them and then being disgusted by them but uh these are five out of ten chips anyway back to past harrison all right so uh cousin jordy he's the one who alerted me to um uh the, the independent convenience store and uh we went there and I, I got a couple other goodies hopefully i'll be able to do some more videos on them um and if you were watching this suggest things for me to, get to review uh whether it's snacks or drinks one thing one thing one thing i want to um I realized is I haven't done any more of like a desserty snack cake things yet. Like a, like a, like a hostess or a little Debbie. Um, I don't normally go for those things, but I definitely feel like that falls under the category of snacks and junk food. All right. So anyway, um, like this video, subscribe, comment, suggest me things. Tell me if you've had these Pringles before and I'll catch you next time. Bye.